So. We all know, you know, that whole uh, color is relative, you know, that back in the game was pretty cool and stuff, right? Right. But I know that, like, whenever people tried to reflect the objects, they knew that green light would bounce off of, you know, the green object onto something else, and they just take that same green and paint it in. And that was really weird. And there would be people that, uh, you know, they try and pick it in. Uh, they would, uh, they take green light and then they would, you know, raise its value because, you know, if I jump over here, the value has to go up for it to look better. That might look nicer, but, uh, but it's not what actually happens. Get the wording out. Okay, I mean, let me let me explain. Uh, so, this is the way that Sam Nielsen explained it. If you got white light shining on an object, then if it's a pure red object, it's going to absorb every single kind of light and just reflect the red back at you, right? Right. But if you have a pure yellow light. Say it's just as strong, but it's pure yellow. The entire thing is actually going to be... ...darker. It's going to look somewhere around... Be ...somewhere around... Here instead, because uh, even if these two lights are the same strength, this thing's gonna reflect. Uh, it's gonna reflect all the red, sure. and maybe like oh. some blue and like some green. But this has all those colors going in. Right only has yellow, so even though it's going to reflect 100% all the yellow back, it's not going to have the blue light to reflect back, so it's going to be darker. So even if it's like the, if it's the, strength, the same strength light, it's going to be darker. Okay, yeah. Right. It doesn't have all the channels to work with. And because it doesn't have like as much like red light in it, instead of being like pure red bouncing back, it's going to be tinted yellow because it's just going to have less red in it. Mm -hmm. Darker. Night. And if you show a green light on a red object, red objects don't bounce back green light, so the entire thing is actually going to be extremely dark. It's going to be like, like this, when you shine a pure green light on it. There's these huge value changes depending on the light that's put on it. And I only went through lessons once and I went through them quick, but I'm like, oh snap, there's all these other things i got to think about. Like, you know, these three lights at the same strength are still going to uh, not have the same value. Whoa. It's not going to be orange, but pure orange like this. It's not mm -hmm. going to be like that. It's going to be slightly darker because it's not reflecting the red. And then the green is going to be super dark because this thing only reflects a teensy bit of green back, but it mostly reflects red, but it's not getting the red to bounce back to be bright. Right. And the same thing happens with reflected light. So if you have a really strong a green object, we'll just so like say this green object is getting hit with a really strong light, a white light. Just hitting right here. Mm -hmm. Well, most people are gonna do that whole crazy bounce light thing. Cause, you know, bounce light is cool, and everyone in class is like, "Yeah, bounce light." And they spam it way too much, and it looked weird, and they wouldn't know why. But they try and put it all on here, and maybe you know they put it up like this. But actually, it's going to only bounce 
a little bit, and it might shift it maybe towards like an orange and a little brighter. So light's gonna be like that, some, somewhere around there. Mm -hmm. A little more towards yellow. Because red doesn't just suddenly go to green. Even if you blend it like this, it's really weird because computers blend this crap. It actually had to go through the whole light spectrum. So before it goes to that, it should go to orange, and then to yellow, and then to green. And this counts with reflected light as well. So when it's bouncing off there, it bounce off and look like this. That looks ugly. Right. That looks less ugly because it's brighter because there's the value change, which is more accurate. You can just see it from medium value to lighter value, but it's still wrong. How a red object would actually behave when reflecting green contains other lights that it can actually bounce off. Right. And so in the videos, he just teaches you how to think things through. Instead of thinking that an object you know, is red and it only bounces off red light, and then completely forgetting every other light that affects it, he teaches you to kind of think about all of lights on a certain color. And I haven't done too much practice of this yet, but the entire concept is mind-blowing, and it just makes my, my coloring a lot better. I'm but like, he's got a bunch of videos, and they all go over that stuff, just a whole bunch of different things. It's great.